Hi everyone, um, today I did an almost full face of Chantecaille today using some of my hauls of the mermaid eye creams um, and copper triton and starfish um, and the skin tint SPF 15 in wheat. Um, so if you'd like to see the get ready with me almost a full face of Chantecaille, um, keep watching. Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a little get ready with me. So with Chantecaille with my um, recent purchases from the sale. So I'm gonna start with, this is not bought from the sale but a year ago. And I got two of these um, and this is the SPF um, primer. So it's great for summer. Um, always making sure to put SPF on. It comes out milky. And I know white cast is an issue for some of us with darker skin tones, but I don't find this to be the case for this SPF um, primer. It's like a two-in-one. So you can see it's pretty oily um, and um, it dries down a bit, but um, it's great as a primer. Always put your SPF on and any extra I put on my hands and down my neck, just to not waste any. Remember to get the ears. Um, so it does act as a little bit of a primer. Try to get the nose. Um, before this, I prep my skin. So it might come out a little red, but and just wait for it to settle down a little bit. So part of the haul, I got the Chantecaille Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer um, in the color Wheat. Um, and then this also has SPF 15. Um, super lightweight. Um, I thought I'd get it because I just wanted to see if I could find a skin tint to wear in the summer. But um, I want to try... Um, this today so you can see the color a little bit Try to get focused um, it's a bit thicker um, but I'm trying to layer my products today I'm gonna, what today I want to do is put the SPF then this <laughs> tint and then um, the foundation skin and see how it goes because what I found is that I got a really nice glowy look um, and I want to see how that looks and wears the, throughout the day. Um, so you can see it's super sheer. Try not to move so much. So put some here too, just to even out the skin. So again, this is in the color wheat. I have um, some discoloration, just so you know. My skin is really sensitive, and I have rosacea here. So any coloring here is not the product that's just my skin. Um, so, and then I wear glasses, so the dents are still there. Um, so you can see it's um, not full coverage. I have a little friend that appeared last night. Um, yeah, I mean, if I were just to go out and, you know, be wearing a mask and not worrying too much about my complexion, this is probably what I would, um, but not the door with because I'd feel that between this SPF 45 and then this 15, I have pretty good coverage on my skin um, and probably wear a hat. I don't like to stick my finger in there just because it's unhygienic. Um, I have these little plastic scoops I have from the Suku um, gel foundation as well. Also a great brand, um, it works well for my skin um as well and so i just like to get some of that here put it on there flip it over get a little more so you can see it's a lot lighter than my summer complexion but it could work um, much more yellow kind of banana looking um, so I'm gonna use my new, I love this, Jumbo Base Sonu G that some of you have. Um, really great for foundation. So I'm trying to blend that in. Some of my hair in there. Um, you can also just use your fingers with this foundation. Um, I've used a beauty blender as well that works so when I'm, in, when I'm in a hurry, I'll just 
slap it on with my fingers, but I don't really like to use my fingers. It's just a preference. And now that I have um, a lot of great cream foundation brushes, I've been using them. So you can see it kind of blends in really nicely. Still got a very, very <laughs> dewy look, which I like. Um, I didn't used to be into glow, but because um, my skin is naturally oily, but then dry here because of my eczema and rosacea. So I'm just kind of patting that in. Um, I don't have any Chantecaille under eye concealer. I ran out of that a couple months ago. Um, but I have, so, so you can see that with this layering on, it covers up some of my imperfections. Um, I have some discoloration here from my glasses, but, you know, naturally I have red cheeks. I just like to tamper that down a little bit just because it peeks through. Um, you know, it doesn't, it's not a smoothing foundation, but um, for the glow, for the summer glow, I do like it. And what I might do is just put a little bit of more in the front where I have some discoloration, maybe some here. I actually might tap that in because the brush can sometimes pick up some product. Let's see how that goes. I just might tap that in more. And I know some of you use this technique too when you have um, if you have hyperpigmentation or melasma or rosacea, um, these are my challenge spots. I do like my natural redness because it looks like I'm naturally flush, but sometimes when it's <laughs> aggravated, it doesn't look so look so hot. So yeah, you can see it just blends in really nicely. Again, you can see my skin, so it looks like skin. Yeah, my friend that appeared last night, still there, but I'm not going to pop it. <laughs> Just let it visit for a little bit and then leave and behave and leave when, when they're ready. So, you know, you can see that that color blended pretty well. Um, it's starting to turn a little orange, but, you know, it matches my summer tan. So I might just powder it down in a bit. Okay, we're gonna do the under eye area. I um, love this Becca corrector, under eye brightening corrector in medium to deep. Um, and I know that they were going to maybe stop making these. I don't know. I, I went ahead and bought an extra backup of one or two of these. And I haven't tried the NARS corrector, so I'm gonna pick that up. But for you, I have dark circles. So what this does is just kind of it's a light color corrector and it brightens a little bit, which helps me. These are my, see that? And I like to use my ring finger because it just warms it up. Okay, so my holy grail under eye corrector for every day is the Sisley. Um, under eye corrector um, in four. Um, their shade range is terrible, um, which is a shame. Um, Sicily is such a great product, product, and I would love for others to try it out if they were more inclusive of their shade range. Um, I got this based on a lot of um, YouTubers' recommendations. Um, so I'm going to put this here just a little bit because still summer I like to go light so and there might be some left over on this if it feels really cool it's kind of dabbing on there um and been using this Sonia G jumbo concealer can you see it um love it I mean yeah it's great As you can see it just brightens up it has a peachy undertone which is great for me because it also brightens and hides any of the dark circles as you can see. And there you go. And 
and this is the first time I'm doing a grip get ready with me so any of my camera work thanks for your patience I'm not sure how all this works I just <laughs> slapped this camera and my iPhone onto my Ricky vanity mirror so we're working it out okay sometimes I just like to just do this because it cult also with color correcting and I don't I don't I want to use up all that product quite honestly that Sisley concealer it was an investment I was uh, waiting for a while to um, get it because I think it's over a hundred dollars it was some ridiculous price um, and then Sisley had a sale maybe 30% off and I jumped on that um, any of the products I have I re very rarely get them full price. I always wait for, I don't want to say always, but most of the time I wait for them to be on sale just because it doesn't make sense for, I don't need these right away, but I want them, but it's, you know, for me, it just makes sense to wait for a sale to get some sort of discount. So you can see that's brightened up my under eye. Okay, I'm going to set my under eyes since I just did them, just making sure it's not settling in. Um, and I've been using the Pat McGrath, um, <laughs> not, I don't think it's the light one. I think it's medium. Um, I very rarely pan my products. So, um, you can see here that I've, um, I'm panning this. So it tells you something. Also, this is, there's not much product in this as well. It's pretty small, but I, this is probably the best under eye that works for me at least. Um, probably see it's just my skin tone so I could actually use this all for my face which I have done before um and I'm using and I love this as my under eye the Wayne Goss um squirrel hair um it was a limited edition on Beautylish I love this brush so much that I have two of them <laughs> um so what I'm gonna do is just settle my t-zone down a bit this is the Sisley um, Sisley loose powder into matte, M-A-T-E, matte, loose face powder. Um, love this product. I think it does be look, work better with a sponge. Um, I really dislike the mechanism because as and I've heard other people say this, it's super messy. <laughs> and I tried this trick of just leaving that plastic on, um, so it wouldn't spill all over the place. I think maybe Lexi Jong on YouTube had recommended that. But it fell off at some point and it's just like a hot mess really um i'll show you where it just it kind of just gets everywhere i don't like it because it's a waste of product and i don't use that much powder quite honestly um because i do like the glowy look but i have an oily t-zone so i'm gonna kind of pat that down and then my smile lines And that's it. All right, I'm using up the last of my Hourglass primer. Um, I bought this probably a couple months ago. I'm going strong because I don't know, it just lasts a long time. I know that they've Hourglass has been under criticism for the lack of inclusivity and kind of really just kind of misrepresenting the color ranges they actually have um which is probably why I won't ever like for now not also not buy much hourglass I don't actually have any hourglass anymore this is the only product I have of theirs um the product they're most famous for the bronzers and brush blushes do not work for me they actually have a lot of I think bismuth in their products something that breaks me out and gives me whiteheads so I don't use their face products so um just using up the last of my hourglass because once I got it I want to use up all of my products and since I paid for it so just prepping my eyes here because what am I gonna do I want to ha, use um my mermaid eye colors so um i thought i would like starfish the most i love it but for me the winner has been copper and i think if you have a fairer skin tone this will show up more brown coppery on 
one skin tone, but for my swatches, I just, I can't do it again. Um, since I'm medium tan um, on my skin tones, it just, <laughs> look at that. It's just really pretty. It just, it's almost showing up like a, like shimmery, almost with a rose gold underlay. Anyway, I just love this color. It's fantastic. Um, so I'll try this with my, my new um, Lotus Worker Brush. Um, so we'll do that. Just tapping it on. And this is a great, this could be great one and done. And there. And I'm being fancy now. I don't really, one doesn't have to use a brush. I mean, one can just use your fingers. Dab it in there. And actually if you use your fingers, you get more of a payoff. So for me, it's like the perfect brightener. Could do one and done with that and call it a day. So pretty. Um, but because I wanted to try out all of my Chantecai products. I'm just going to brush off the same worker brush. Um, I waited on these cream eyeshadows because I um, I love the Tom Ford ones, um, but I've heard really good reviews of this. So for the Sylvie sale, 30%, I'm like, why not? Um, I love these. They're great. Um, I haven't tried the Tilbury ones. I have hooded eyelids, so I've read that they have creasing. So far, the this has not had creasing for me, but I've also prepped my eyelids. So I'm going to use this starfish color and let me just do a really quick swatch of that. So that ends up being just really, just a really beautiful color. Oops, it's turning blue there. Just want the natural warm tones to come out. It's a beautiful color. Okay. I'm just going to put that in my and this could be a one and done too So this is the first time I'm doing a get ready with me and filming it. Um, anyone, any have hot tips on doing makeup and then taking video, all that. I'm open. I'm standing, you can probably see I'm standing in front of my mirror, uh, my big window, just so I can do natural light. Um, I am in front of a Ricky um, vanity mirror. This is my go-to makeup mirror, just so I can see. Um, but it does have like a blue light to it, but I'm trying to balance that with the natural warmth of the sun. So, yeah, so the starfish, so pretty. You can see it adds a little more depth. Okay, I'm going to take the soft concealer. Um, I didn't use this yet, so I just, I wanted, what I want to do is just kind of blend it out a little bit. Blend, blend, blend. There we go. I'm gonna wipe it on my cloth. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is probably take the Triton color, which is the last one I picked up. Um, and then kind of use it in the inside just to, for a gradation. I'm gonna take the Builder on the Lotus set. Let me do a swatch of that so you can see. Definitely a more cool tone. It's really beautiful too. So for me, the, these three are a match made in heaven. I mean, I just love the three colors. Um, and even this is more cool. I mean, somehow it just works because these two are pretty warm. But um, yeah, look at that. Those two reminds me of Tom Ford, their wet dry formula a bit. Okay, let me pay attention here. I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner. So there's some sort of gradation going on. Yeah, there. Here. 
See, I'm not used to filming. So any hot tips you have of setup? Should I get a ring light? Not sure, I'm using my iPhone 12. Um, didn't know if I wanted to invest in a camera. I'm just doing this all for fun. As makeup should be. You know, I'm not a makeup artist. For me, this is my fun self-care time. I've always loved makeup. When I was in college, I had one of those vanity mirrors and the gals I went to college with, with or hung out with did not wear makeup. And they were like, what? You have a huge man vanity mirror. I was just really into makeup. I think they thought I was vain. I just really loved makeup and playing. And they were not makeup wearers. So yeah, a little bit of eye stuff there. So yeah, that's the finished look without any eyeliner or eyelashes yet. So that's just the base. Okay, so this is, since this is a get ready with me with a mostly all Shantai Kai products, I'm going to use my um, Jasper um, eyeliner. Um, love these. You can see it's down. It's pretty small. Um, show you a swatch of that. It's like I'm always looking for the perfect brown. And so um, for me, because I have tan skin, I'm always looking for like the perfect chocolatey brown. This has a little bit of shimmer for, so for me, this is like almost like the perfect brown I'm looking for. Um, but if anyone else has any browns that you can recommend, let me know. Um, these glide on really nicely. What, what I do find is that because it's so soft, um, it's hard to keep that sharp, um, sharp point. So I feel like I'm always having to sharpen that. So I'm gonna do that actually right now. Okay, sharpened. So this might be hard to do on camera, but I try to just get my outer parts of my eyelashes. I don't like to go over the entire lid unless I'm using a liquid eyeliner, just because for my hooded eyelids, if I cover up too much of the top, it closes my eyes. So I like to keep my natural almond state. Still like to do a little bit of a wing. We go. So you can see it's always helpful if sharp. So I close my eyes a little bit. This eye always ends up being more of a challenge. So it goes on super creamy. I love these eyeliners. I just wish they lasted longer. Um, what I'd like to do also is smudge it out if possible, but it might be too late. It might have dried down. So I took, make much of a huh, little schmutz there. There you go. I'm a wing gal. Always have worn wings. A little bit here to connect. Two. Very rarely go in all the way just because I think it closes up my eyes. And then what I like to do is grab one more tool. I love these two um, pieces of, or these two um, brushes. This is a Wayne Goss um, smudger, I think, for eyeliner. And then BK Beauties, um, I think this is the 204, right? Um, I like this if I have a more of a smoky look because it's a little bit um, chunkier. So I can, if it's smoky, it doesn't have to be as precise. Whereas this is more precise. If you, um, I use this also for making eyeliners out of um, eyeshadows. So let's try that. Let's see if I can smudge it a little bit if it hasn't dried down yet. I just like to soften up the lines a little doesn't look so harsh and I like this because it's so small there we go see and then so it didn't dry down yet and you can see I made a little mistake here but if you smudge it it's a little more forgiving 
doesn't have to be as precise for me because it's a day look and it's summer so yep what do you think okay i went in and curled them again if you can tell they're short <laughs> okay um i am going to use my beloved Chantecai CILS Seals um, Mascara. Faux Seals Longest Slash Mascara in black. They only have one color. Um, when I first heard about this and tried it, I thought it was not worth the money. I thought it was gimmicky. And then I started using it and then my eyelashes got longer. So, and just nourished. Um, so I've been using that. It is pricey, that's why I picked up <laughs> two of them from the sale <laughs> use it for only three months throw them out ladies gents friends who use makeup um good for three months I know we like to extend it but I just for your health of your eyes throw it out after three months that's why if I can get more of these through the year I will okay so here she is of course it's pretty standard everyday makeup um, mascara for me and what I like to do with this product, I mean, there's always stuff at the end. If I have other mascaras open, I might have another one open. I like to layer it. This is my base. So for a while I was using this as my base because of it's nourishing for my eyes as a first step. And then I would use the Gucci over it and it would just like expand my eyelashes or I'll use this and then the Chanel. So let me see if I can do this on video. So it's pretty much a standard, oh no, there's a little bit of mistake there. Standard mascara, but it's not standard. And that has peptides and wonderful things. I'm not doing anything today other than um, nothing special. So it just, I don't need eyelashes to look extra but I will go in and take my time doing this I won't film the rest because it takes time I like to go in a couple layers so anywhere from two three four layers I'll keep going I'm gonna do this I was recently watching Lexi Zhang and she recommended this Jones Jones Road um, pencil that has some fibers in it. This is in brune. Um, I could get probably get black. I just wanted to go a little bit lighter for the summer. Um, it has these fibers that are really cool. So I think this is a clean product too. Um, yeah, I really like it so far. I think they're owned by Bobby Brown. Maybe can tell me um so you can see i haven't gotten my eyebrows done since covid started so <laughs> be nice um i think love it i would repurchase it the things that i don't think are so hot about it is that it's a small product um i'm hoping it lasts a long time that for the thickness of it that makes up for the fact that it's not long. So it's, it's like the size of my finger. So you can see it's not a very, I mean, a lot of eyebrow products are long, right? They look a little bit like eyeliner pencils, um, but this is super short. But you know what I like about this is that it can be a little messy, right? It's not a big deal. There, done. I had these little fibers. Um, I haven't been able to find a sharpener for this. I have one lying around somewhere. I have to find it if you can fit it. But if you don't have a very big um, sharpener, then you have to buy theirs. And then I'm gonna finish off, we'll finish off with Tom Ford's uh, Fiber Brow Gel in Espresso. Um, I read somewhere, and I don't know if this is true, that they might be discontinuing this. Has anyone else heard that? I don't know if that's true. Oh boy, there. Most of the days I don't do both. I just do one or the other. Just because my eyebrows are pretty thick already. 
see. You know, the trend is to make them bushy. See that? Trend is different now. Back in the 90s, it was pencil thin eyebrows. Remember that? <laughs> For some of us. Um, and so having, I my eyebrows are much more bushier than this. I have a mono brow if I let it grow. So back in the 90s, that was really challenging to get pencil thin eyebrows. So, so what I like to do is I love both of these products and the red, darker red, orange red. Darker red is Goa, the one that's like deeper and it has a red undertone. Serena is the more blue, like orangey red. And it's like a warmer tone a little bit. You can see more of the sparkles more. I love both of these. Um, I think they're both baked gelée made in Italy. Um, the only thing I don't like, I mean, these are lasting forever. I use these almost every day and you can see how much I have left. I'll show you this one, right? And I'll be very careful about this one because the only thing I don't like, and this is kind of indicative of baked gelée, is that <laughs> the goa has fallen out of the pan. So I'm very careful about this. So hold that up. Serena Goa. So what I like to do is with Goa, let's see if I can do it. Goa, I like to use it for some contour. See that? Woo! It's very orange today. So you can see that almost like a blush. And I like to stamp on and blend my cheek products. Just because if I buff too much, just for my skin tone and my cheek area, it lifts the product. So I think I've heard, learned that from some people, makeup enthusiasts as well. Just don't like to rub it in, just like pat it in. So let's go, look at that, it's so beautiful. I think it looks really good because I have a, a tan already. Um, I went ahead and used my classic base. Um, that's what's closest to me right now. And then what I like to do is like, I just love to use like two, one to two to three bronzers, but we're doing Shantikai today. So Serena, I'm using the same. I just brushed off some remaining Goa. Just tap into that, tap for a little bit, just like layer it. So it's a little bit, look at that. A little bit more. And it's almost like a blush. What I'm noticing because of this camera, it actually looks more orange than I actually am. There, maybe that's, that's actually truer. So it's pulling orange on this camera. I don't know why. I might adjust that at the end so you can see. So, but look how pretty that is. Love, love. Okay, now we're going to pick blush. And then I have three blushes from Shantikai. I have the Manta Ray. Yes, Manta Ray. I don't know if you can get this anymore. Radiance Chick, Chic Chic and Highlight Duo in Coral. It's beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite um, palettes, cheek palettes, just because, not just because it's limited edition, it's ba also baked gelée. So I just wanna show you the highlighter. It's like this beautiful gold and this um, summery coral, so pretty. I might use that today. But I'll swatch the other ones for you. I have two more blushes. Um, I wish I picked up some more of these during the sale. Um, I have Laughter or Coral, and all the overlay is gone. This used to be a really beautiful color or shiny coral. Um, this is probably one of this is probably one of my favorites in my collection. It's just a beautiful color, coral, laughter, and then this is. Um, Joy Wild Horse, and this is more so that last one coral has a little bit of shimmer in it. Joy is just like a pop of like cool pink, which I love to use in the front because then you can. I don't like shimmer on the front because it shows my pores, but I like to use that as a pop of color. 
So what shall it be today? Mm, orange, let's go. Let's go with, um, I feel like it's very orange already. So let's use the coral and then laughter. So you can see, ooh, that's a little too much. I'm using my Lotus Cheek Pro. I'm gonna tap some of this off because it's gonna be way too much. Clean it off again. Okay, that's look how pretty that is. Done. It's a lot. Oh, there, there. Balance things out. Um, I don't know. I think these might be my favorite cheek products. This and Suku, but there's something about these are just effortless. Chanel, don't like the new formula. I got my favorite color, Malice, and the formula is different. So I have to work with, I have to work with her a little bit more and she's a little fussy. So I'm not really happy about that. Um, all right, so I wiped off the brush and I'm gonna pop the front with um, Wild Horse Joy that and because it, it's matte whoosh, matte it just has a nice pop of color so as you can see there's way too much blush on so what I'm gonna do is um I always do this at the end probably buff some of it off you'll see okay too much blush but I always do that at first because what I like to do then is so I like I like the glueiness I have um, I go in, this is my ride or die. This is my second repurchase I would do um, in a heartbeat would be this. Um, and they came out with new packaging. I got this in special packaging. I use this almost every day. Look, I don't think I've hit pan on it. Again, I think it's that big gelée. Um, for me, this is um, the perfect color for me because it has like a peach undertone and just chills everything out. Okay, what I like to do is make sure my buffer brush is clean. Um, smooth buffer. Um, some hip will have the original one, which is bigger for me. I don't, this is fine. Look, it's pretty big. My face isn't particularly huge. So just like to go in and blend everything together just so it's more seamless, right? Clean it off a little bit. Okay. Still too much of a, the cheeks in there with a blush. So I'll go off with that and just stamp that on. Kind of cools everything down, chills it out, and it does its magic in that it just blurs and buffs everything. So it almost looks like a filter. Do you see that? So look, I mean, I had a lot of blush on, but it kind of chilled it out, but also blended it really nicely. And then because I'm extra that way, I'm like going, I'm like, oh, I need more, I need more um, bronzer. <laughs> Which I think I do. So I'm going to take some of the Serena and then just warm it up a little bit. There we go. I forgot some of down here. Usually we will use Goa because it's more of a contour for me in the winter months, but because I got my tan, it looks really great. Okay, last thing, which highlighter shall I use? Um, okay, I have two highlighters, which one of which I showed you. I have the Eclat Brilliant face powder. Apparently some people use it as a face powder. I thought it was highlight, but I use it as a highlight because I don't know anyone's using that on their face. So very gold against my skin tone. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Got that on sale as well. Um, not the Sylvie sale, but another time. And then again, back to the Manta Ray. This is more like a shimmery, softer, cold. Which one should I use? I might go extra with that. Let's use that one. Clean this off. See how that works. Because um, it's angled. Again, this is the Lotus series detail brush. Um, don't need a lot. Okay. Beautiful. 
beautiful. I might buff that out because... This is getting to be a long get ready with me. Maybe I'll just make a video and put it together and post it. I'm not sure if Instagram has rules on that, but. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that glow. I'm not into the beam highlighter. It's just because I have, you see that? I have some texture there and then certain Highlighters will emphasize the texture. Just gonna blend that out a little bit. All right, I have five Shantikai lipsticks and I'll swatch what I have. Elderberry, which is in the Lip Veil formula, which is very bright. <laughs> I could use that and just damp it out, but it's very bright probably. I like to use that more in the fall. Um, I have the Lip, Lip Chic Tea Rose. This is more like a super bal uh, balmy. So this is great. I may end up using that. Or I might show you both. Let's see. So super balmy, very oily, nourishing on the lips. Um, I'll regularly have that in my bag or just like near my go station just to hydrate my lips. Um, and I have all of the, um, the elephants collection. Uh, this is Plumeria. All, I love all the colors. Uh, Plumeria. And then there's Acacia. That one. That's really pretty. I might use that. This or this one. What do you think? I'm going to use that one. Um, Acacia. It's more of a... Also in the rose hue. The other one was like peachy pink. More pink. And then this is my go-to in the fall. Tamarind. I love brown. Ooh, it might be that one. I think we're going to go for that one. Tamarind. I can show all of them for you if you want. Yeah, this is probably my favorite out of all the colors. Because even though it looks look more, it's like a brownie, brown under here. That looks best on my skin tone. So what do you think? Let's try the other ones. Okay, we're going to try Acacia, which is, oh, I think it's this one. That's a pretty pink. Hmm. Let me always use that during the day. Okay, we'll try the other ones. Okay, we're gonna, oop. Plumeria, which is more of the um, cool pink. This is the Lip Chic Tea Rose. This is more like the super balmy one. Super nourishing on my lips. I like this one because I love this one for every day. It's like matches any color I'm wearing. Just pressing down the smile lines. Oh, so tea rose. Just so you can see what that is. Okay, the last one is the Lip Veil Elderberry. And then I might tap this because it's so bright. And I think these are the ones that are more pigmented.
So that's that's what it looks like if I just, you know, dab it on and buff it out as a stain. But I'll show you what it looks like if I go in extra so you can see how intense it can get. Let me build it up. So yeah, more intense. Um, interesting, it's reading more red where it actually is more of a berry color in real life, which is so interesting. This is the way this phone is reading the colors um, because it's actually more raspberry. Maybe I'll pull out so you can see. So I think this is too, too bright for my daytime preference. So I think I'm gonna go back to actually Leave this one because that's a nice daytime color okay I pulled back a little because I think the light was making me look more orange than I actually am all right so the Ricky light is off this is more of like a more true color of what's going on highlights a little little much it's just me I mean it looks great for Instagram but you know I want more of a realistic look. Buff, buff, buff. This is the magic of Chantecaille. Look at this. So again, um, I just finished off with um, Acacia. I'll show you that. I love all those colors. Look at that. I think, yeah, I would say, whew, okay, so I'm going to pick my top five. Hands down, if I had to like, if I like lost it or finished it, I would replace it in a second. I already told you, Chantecaille. I've already been through probably three of these, four. Um, with the sale, I picked up two more. I might pick up more if I see sales somewhere else, but there's, I didn't want to hoard my mascara. So number one, replace top five. Number one would be this. Number two would be the powder, the um, Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. Um, they come in two shades. I wish they'd expand it more. So for me, this works because I'm medium tan. Um, it'd be nice if they went um, a, a color lighter than this and a, even a shade maybe even deeper than the next one they came out with. Um, but yeah, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna get pick up another. I think if you go online, the pre-order's already sold out. So <laughs> fingers crossed they're gonna come out with more. Um, but again, this is like lasted me almost a year. What's the shelf life on that? It's 30 months, so I'm good. So that would be number two. My number three in order of favorites, favorite children, it would be um, hands down um, the foundation. I love it. I love it. Um, again, trying to do clean beauty. Um, we don't know a lot of what's in chemicals of foundations and cosmetics so Chantecai yes they're pricey but you know what they hit the marks in luxury beauty for me they're clean or trying to be more clean number three they give back some people say oh maybe they don't maybe don't give it back enough it's expensive well I just wait for a sale and I use up my stuff I use it um again you can see um I'm like halfway through and it's like been almost a year so for the value of the money I'm getting I got this on sale um this would be number number three purchase. What would be number four? Again, if I ran out of it, I'd get these, both of them, because I'm gonna pick these two as one product of like, I use both of these together. So my bronzers, Inserina and Goa. And then the last one, if um, I had to pick up, ooh, it's hard, let's see. I would say the blushers. I love the blush, these two. Full face Shantikai, what do you think? Is there anything I'm missing you think I should pick up? Just let me know. Thanks.